Hello and welcome back to Jack's Z videos and to the 8th episode of the Just Fight series with the Airbus A321-200. Uh, so, today, obviously, as I just said, it's the Airbus A321. Uh, uh, and obviously, again, from Just Fight. And I'm going to be doing a full, well, not full, a review on this. Pretty basic review, as I normally do with the Just Fight series. Uh, so firstly, I hope you enjoyed the video request episode. If you haven't seen those yet, I released 10 video request episodes over the last, uh, I think, about 10 weeks. Uh, so you can go and check that out. And just to let you know as well, this is the third last Just Flight episode. So it'll be ending at episode number 10 uh, with the 747, Boeing 747 to 200 slash uh, 300. So uh, that's it really. Uh, so, first of all, uh, is the screen, not screen, uh, the texture resolution, I was going to say. Um, basically, it's probably I would rate it as above average. You can see like some of the writing on the door there is really good, but then if you actually look at the door frame itself, especially at the bottom, it's then not good. It's pretty blurry. Uh, also, with the actual Monarch, Monarch livery and the blue paint below, it's just and some of the windows, uh, well, actually all the windows, uh, it's just not really... Um, that great. It does obviously look better when you're not so zoomed in, but still, uh, I've seen better light standards than that, really. Uh, engines, again, probably just above average, not the best, but um, they're still, I think, I think when I read it, they said they were real recordings. It's just that I don't think they made enough for like um, uh, what the different sounds would be like at different stages of throttle and uh, turning and climbing, descending, uh, and as you go around the air, uh, uh, engines. Uh, now here actually it does, you can hear it change, uh, like as I go to the back here, I think you can just about hear it. Uh, obviously it changes coming out the back there, which is still good, but again, same sort of thing really, uh, there are better things out there really. Uh, but for the price, I'd say this skill is pretty good. Uh, flaps there come out all fine, uh, again with the screen, uh, I keep saying screen, uh, texture resolution uh, could be better, uh, but again, it sort of varies. Like the black text on the wing there, wing there is uh, really good, as long with, along with the black line. Uh, but then the actual sort of bolts on the aircraft along the wing and stuff, for example, and this red bit here isn't as good. Uh, gears at the bottom are very highly detailed, and some of the top bit, but it just gets a little bit uh, sort of basic and simple at the top uh, of these, uh, I suppose, what you call struts uh, that actually hold the wheels. Uh, but again, at the bottom, it's got really good detailed components. Same with the front gear components and wires and things like that. Again, screen uh, <laughs> texture resolution is pretty bad here on this front gear, um, especially that sort of little red or oh, like deep red or brown strip there um, but yeah that's that uh, another just thing to mention is the pilots at the front uh, obviously good that they've got them most aircraft do but there's no animation on them and they look pretty rubbish uh, if I'm honest but still it's better than none uh, and again when you're further zoomed out it does look a little bit better so uh, yeah um, Alright, so we're just taking off here. Again, you can sort of hear the engines changing a little bit, but like I was saying, I just think they could, it could be a little bit more realistic. But one thing I do like is with the uh, gears there, that you can just see at the bottom left there, uh, it, go it definitely does look like the tyres are sort of a little bit worn and uh, a little bit, obviously, but and a little bit uneven and stuff. Uh, and you can definitely see a sort of spinning effect there. Uh, some aircraft, even the most high quality ones, won't sort of have that going on. Um, so in terms of takeoff, it's everything's fine there. Really, nothing wrong with it at all. Uh, you see the gears come up here; they're fine. Doesn't jutter or anything. Same with the flaps, like I was saying, they don't jutter with some aircraft. Um, but one thing you'll see in just a second is uh, one thing that I just find quite glitchy is when you turn the aircraft, uh, like to the left or right or even up and down, the tail fin sort of uh, flickers a bit. Uh, you just see it like right here. Like that, I'm just where I'm just moving my joystick at a steady rate. I'm not m wiggling it about or anything. It's just staying straight, but it still flickers a little bit. That tail thing. The same for the um, uh, I forgot what they're called ailerons. I think is what they're called on the wings. Uh, so then inside the cockpit, I won't explain much of this simply because I've done it twice already, and it and it will be in the next episode. Uh, but really highly detailed. 
uh, cockpit. I'm very happy with the cockpit. It sort of makes up for the exterior of the aircraft in those areas. But again, the exterior is actually still pretty good, uh, just not the best, really. Uh, a glitch here, which I don't like, is how lights shine through into the cockpit through solid wall. They're the landing lights in the aircraft, so it's not that's that bad because you're usually facing forward, uh, obviously, when you're in the cockpit. But again, still, aircraft lights will just shine through solid objects inside the cockpit, which uh, is not very good at all. Uh, panel at the back there could be in 3D, I think, but what they've done is very high to detail some are just absolutely blurry you can't even read what they say so that's really good actually how they've done that but I still think it could be 3D possibly like the back ones here and the rest of this overhead panel which is also really good detail and high resolution the most the in fact the entire cockpit is a really good uh, texture resolution uh, so I'm really happy with the inside of the cockpit uh, so that's just showing the flaps going again again as I've already said twice no juttering there, which is good. Uh, not really much else to say about that. And uh, that's just showing the gears going down. That's just just show the animation of the gears going down. Lighting, uh, I can't really comment on because I've got Rex on, which uh, sort of enhances the lighting. And uh, landing, personally, just that's me personally, I find landing A320 family aircrafts quite hard. I always seem to bounce, as you just saw there. Uh, unlike other aircraft where I can just land it and then there's no bounce at all. Uh, but that's just personally, uh, some people just find different aircrafts easier or harder to fly or land or even take off. So that's it for this episode, episode 8. Episode 9, uh, I can't remember what it will be, but it's part of the A320 family. I've already filmed it, uh, so that will be out in one week. And uh, that's it for this episode. So thank you for watching.